All right, my friend Natronics of Elite Expeditionary now EE Studios has partnered with Zark Media, and he's starting something new uh, that I'm very much looking forward to called Redline. He's the uh, director, producer, creator of Overclock, the Star Citizen Machinima that I really like. Let's check out what Redline actually is. Hi, I'm Natronics, and you're watching Redline, your source for adventurous stories throughout the verse. Today's episode puts us behind the metaphorical bars of one of the verse's most controversial institutions, Klesher Rehabilitation Facilities, a private corrections company that claims to provide safe and secure rehab for local planets, but many have argued it's really just a ploy for megacorporations to exploit citizens for free labor. It's security and work release opportunities allowing prisoners, not patients, to be productive while paying their debt to society. Join me as I venture over a mile below the surface of Aberdeen <laughs> into the bowels of a justice yes. system undermined by corporate greed. Yes, yes, okay. He, like, this is great. So he's doing, like, documentary-styled uh, uh, newscasts with conjun in conjunction with Zark Media. And this is great. This is great. This is great. I met with a longtime criminal offender who goes by the name Axel, just a few kilometers outside the Klesher restricted zone. So, Axel, how many times have you been incarcerated here? What count after 10? Wow. <laughs> Would you say that this place actually did anything towards rehabilitating you? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so this is a standard prisoner room here. I'm sorry, patient room at Klesher Rehab. This is the bed. Uh, looks like it's been soiled pretty bad, not very comfortable, and honestly a little bit sticky. Uh, over here we've got uh, a sink that is uh, pretty filthy. Some used toothpaste and a used toothbrush. I guess that must be mine. Uh, this is the toilet that has been heavily used. It's pretty gross. <laughs> it smells like... Sort of smells like a tuna sandwich in a strange way. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, what's this over here? Uh, looks like, uh, oh, try our work release program. Earn a shorter sentence. Look at that. No rehab. Where's the rehab program? I see it's uh, start mining today. Oh, look at that. I do that and I can leave my room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Killian says, this is great, and it isn't even fucking recording, just great writing and execution. Yeah, I mean, like, this is absolutely great. I, I read in the Discord that um, Natronics of, of Elite Expedition, now EE Studios, said that uh, these are going to take a lot less time than the overclocked uh, series that he's working on so he's happy about that he says an overclocked episode takes 50 hours to create and i believe it because it's so good it's a great star citizen machinima he said red line episodes take him about 10 hours so he said he can do a lot more red line episodes and i'm really looking forward to this because the writing has always been top notch the production quality has always been top notch did you this guy i gotta hear this again this is great hey, look at that i do that and i can leave my room Huh. Is that a rehab that I hear? <laughs> so it's a spacious atrium, breezy, although it smells sort of like a not good tuna sandwich in here. <laughs> okay, here I am in the lobby. Uh, information terminals, this seems to be where uh, everyone hangs out. Uh, there seems to be uh, some delicious food here. Uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, the food is terrible looking. <laughs> Looks like it's really just one piece of everything. Um, <laughs> can you show me where the rehab is happening here? Let's be honest, man. How many naps have you taken with that helmet on? You feel uh, rehabilitated so far? <laughs> you want to talk to me? Alright, okay. What are you guys in for? I feel like that's gonna happen as well, Killian. Uh, I got something. Yeah, that food. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the sound effects are great. <laughs> is this where I can get food? What is this? Yeah, you gotta pay for it with merits, though, so you can eat mine first. You gotta be kidding me. Nope. <laughs> so, if I don't mind, I don't eat. Nope. Okay, so, so how do we, uh, how do we make merits, then? I don't even think I'm doing this thing right. What's that? I think I might be mining a decroded piece of crap, to be honest. I don't think there's anything worthwhile in this thing. Yeah. Do they even teach you how to use these things? No, they just give them to you and tell you to go do it. <laughs> that must be part of the rehab. Yeah, figure it out. <laughs> I mean, is there any sort of uh, protection for people down here? Or, I mean, what happens if you get hurt? You die. They send you back from the hospital to serve the rest of your son. When, uh, when you get brought back. <laughs> Hello? Anybody down here? What's up, Zark? How you doing? We just got done talking about you. Wow. <laughs> Creepy. Tell me, for a man who's been in prison as long as you have, at what point does the sex start becoming consensual? <laughs> Although I'd only spent a few hours inside, feeling the warmth of the sun on my face made me feel like a new man. Perhaps that experience alone is where the real rehabilitation occurs. <laughs> Although the smell of old tuna and distant screams still lingered everywhere I went. As I continued forth onto my next adventure as a free man, I could only help but feel for those poor citizens, lost somewhere deep below the surface of a sandy moon. The crimes against humanity enforced upon them potentially greater than anything they'd ever done themselves. Fantastic! That concludes this episode of Redline. If you've got something adventurous to share, reach out via the Hubnet link below, and you just might see it here. Until next time, this is Natronics, over and out. This is great. This is great. This feeds into the narrative. This feeds into the narrative that I'm talking about, what Zark is envisioning, what he wants from the Moby Glass, having that ability to inject like media into your Moby Glass. The same vision that I believe Natronics from um, EE Studios wants as well, so that we have this experience. It's much more immersive. I love what Natronics of EE Studios is doing by doing these documentary styled PBS things for for uh, Hubnet, and it's just such a wonderful idea that needs to be supported by the Star Citizen community. It's like, this is the type of thing that I love the most, not regurgitated news. I, I, you know, like people, you know, get upset when I say this, you know, there, there are people who do this. They got the SEO down, the search engine optimization down. They know how to get the views. They know how to like trump everybody else in terms of uh, the content. Uh, but when it comes down to it, the people that are putting in the hours, the people that are putting in the work uh, are the people that are hungry, the ambitious, the people that uh, like Zark, the people, the people that only have a couple thousand subscribers that deserve to be put above those people that do regurgitated news, the above those people that got that SEO down. These are the people that need to get up there because they are putting the hours in unlike any of the others. You know, a lot of the regurgitated news pieces takes 30 minutes to make. These types of pieces, we already know because I saw it in the Discord, took him 10 hours. This piece here took him 10 hours. So when it comes down to, do you want to support somebody that looks at everything that we look at and regurgitates it for 30 minutes and gets 40,000 views? Or do you want to actually support people that take 10 hours, right? 10 hours out of their day to make something sweet like this? And what, what happens? Only 451 views. Shame. I'm shaming. Shame. I'm shaming the Star shame. Citizen community because these are the people that we have to support. So the shame bell is out there. People go over to this channel. Go subscribe. Go subscribe to Zark. Listen, these are great people. When I put this out on YouTube, I'll put the highlights down below. We already talked about theory crafting uh, news earlier when we were talking about Zark and what we're looking at. So I will put those out back to back. And I think these are the things that we start, we got to start telling other people about. Like people watching the stream right now, I want people to gravitate around this. I want you guys to make it like something that you do during the week. Like tell one, two people.
Just just focus on it. Be like, yeah, I listen to DG360 stream. I'm hearing what the man's saying. You know, put it in your brain and and maybe just do it, you know, to help out. Because these people need the help, man. Don't let Natronic spend 10 hours for nothing. Because I'm telling you what, only 400 views. I'm telling you as a content creator right now, if I put 10 hours in and I only got 400 views out of the 10 hours I put in, I'd be pissed off. And, and, and trust me, that happened to me on the daily. That happened to me almost every video. The irony is I'm helping other people out now and I'm getting so many more views. I'm actually the person that I hate that I'm talking about right now. I'm taking people's content and I'm watching it. I'm trying to promote it. And, and I, it's not even my own content. And it doesn't take me very much effort to do this, right? I'm actually the, I hate myself, Pepe. I hate myself. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with me? I hate myself. 